Namaste to my Instagram followers. Truth Tree here on the first evening of my 24 hour. It's been 23 hours and 26 minutes since I've been live for life. I got my other camera shooting up back toward here, which is my main, that's my main one, my main live one. Just want to do a nightly review with everyone and myself. Uh, feel really great today. Uh, just n knowing that the access point is open now 24 seven is a huge difference because I've been bursting at the seams for a long time and this campaign is the most serious thing you've ever seen, but it's also a big joke at the same time because life is a joke. I mean, that's what's, that's why they can do what they do. Everyone gets all upset at, oh, they doing this. Literally they can do it because nobody knows how the fucking laws work. Everyone gets all upset about the laws. Oh, they're doing this and that, but literally they can because you keep volunteering to the system by contributing your energy into something that you don't even know about. <laughs> really? So like part of my campaign and my rollout is educating you on the rules of the law and the constitution and then how we can use the metaphysical law to change our perspective so that we slowly take the power away from them because all you're doing is giving them the power by paying attention to them. So we, we bring it back into ourself and I mix a little bit of uh, my own personal story in with actual research and then in with Hollywood films and scenes. So if anybody's been following my uh, Instagram story today, again, Instagram story, like the story at the top, that's where I do my main releases. Um, but I will be filling in all the back releases into actual long videos, long films, so you can catch up from what I've done since October. Now I'm going to release something here next that's really important because everyone thinks that, oh, Trump was the good guy and Biden's the bad guy. No, they're both on the same team. And I'm going to release something here to show you some of the in-between messages that were slid in there in his speech on the 6th before the Capitol event. He unconsciously triggered everybody. So I've talked for a while about the fact that Thomas Jefferson was always a British spy. I mean... And he is idolized in our image of America. And that's for a reason. Because <laughs> if we focus on him, they control the energy. Because he literally was a British spy the whole time. And who does Donald Trump mention? Okay, he mentions Thomas Jefferson in his speech, literally, but on the 6th. And I'm going to post a short clip of that next. So... Those of uh, you guys who are following me, you know, after the weekend, I'm going to reach out to all of you because we got we to gotta step our game deeper. You know, we got to start really organizing behind the curtain together because I need your help. I can't do this alone. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. This isn't about me telling you how things are. This is me collaborating with the world around me. And I just know how to navigate digital space. And these central servers are going to continue pushing you into a corner until it's too late. And then your kids are fucked. Well, your kids are already fucked unless you do something. Seriously. Like any kid under 10 years old right now, if you don't do something to wake yourself up in the next two years... Your kids are seriously fucked and you're going to be watching them from the other side and you're not going to be happy. Well, I mean, it's all fun anyway, but I mean, it, it's a memory, you know, it's technically a memory, your kids, like it's a memory of yourself stuck in time because, you know, once the kid began spawning, that's when the physical matter started to change. So unless you learn... 
the fruition of that thought that you had, you won't understand your kid and why you even, what they represent. That's why this whole campaign literally is to reach my, my own family. I'm the youngest and I've been somewhat alienated with my ideas. You know, they love me. Yeah, okay, they love me. I mean, yeah, that's unconditional love. That's because they're connected to the black hole heart. But everything that comes out of it, you know, they, you know, they don't understand. They don't try to understand. So like, I'm hoping that they start to clue in and I want to provide the most compassionate layout of the facts in regards to the, our, our like rooted sovereignty as Americans. Cause America is a representation of the world and it's not a democracy that we fought for in 1776. It was a republic. It's a big difference. That's why they talk. Oh, that's why Biden gets up there and says, democracy, democracy. You know, they have to keep telling us, like, that's not what America was founded on. America was founded to be a republic, which are individual states with their rights contributing to a union, not the union telling the states what to do, which is absolutely what's happening now. I mean, there, there's so much to it. That's why my platform really want to emphasize you uh, watch or you listen to that 37 minute um, chat I had that really outlines my position um, in regards to politics. It's on my YouTube channel now. There's a link for my YouTube channel in my bio. I just want to do a you know nightly check in here, or a nightly check out rather before I uh, get into my work for the evening and go to sleep. I'm obviously still 24/7, so you can check my Twitter. I got a new Twitter account um, that will give you the updated status of where my 24/7 feed is at any time. So at any time you check my Twitter, that's my updated status is basically where I am on the live feed. And uh, this thing is going to really grow. I haven't even sent one message out to anybody. And I got like 300 people ready to go like to send messages to and just to clue them in. But I got to have my platform set up in a way that I have all six doorways open. Right now, I only have, I'm op right now, only the one doorway is open, politics. So, you know, in a couple, couple weeks, I'll have all the doorways open. And then that way, when someone comes into the platform for the first time, they're not just looking at one doorway. They have six things they can look at to start to get into the material. And, you know, politics is just one of the doorways. There's blockchain, there's hockey, there's yoga, uh, there is uh, in-depth, and there's um, color commentary. So this thing was designed that way. And it wasn't designed just to be like, oh, a couple month idea. This is a couple... This is a couple decades idea. Like this is gonna grow into several decades. So those of you following now, like you know, you're like the early birds, big time. And essentially, like I, even for the next like month, like I need to protect my own. I need to be aware of my own emotional field. I need to be aware of my own emotional field in regards to how I'm handling people paying attention to me because my own personal like drew trauma is that I don't want people looking at me like I don't want people paying attention to me like you know like it's a little bit of like the trauma I developed out of Sarnia out of the hockey and a little bit from like the family the immediate family stuff and so I'm gonna clue my family into this probably after the weekend and give them all the access because I had to block them because I just couldn't handle their eyes on me until I'm really moving. So I'm hoping that they'll catch up with where I'm at, and but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> All right, what's up, Anahata? Surprise, surprise, Anahata, Anahata, which means what? It means unstruck. Right there, Anahata. Heart chakra unstruck.
right? So they say, hi, that would be unstruck. Anahata, the heart, the heart, the heart. No sound? What do you mean? You can't hear me? You can hear me. You mean I just talked all that stuff and it didn't matter? See, this is the fuck, this is what, this is what Instagram does. It's not user friendly. It does this stuff on purpose, folks. Oh, it's translated as unstruck sound. I know it's unstruck, but I didn't know there was sound after after that. So it's like the black hole heart, unstruck sound. You know, so then it's also, so there's, what, what about the seventh chakra? <laughs> what about... The seventh chakra is the silence, but also the fourth chakra is the silence. But then you get to the fifth chakra, that is literal sound. I mean, technically, it, technically sound is the first thing in physical reality that starts to create. Because light and thought, so that would make sense, it would be called unstruck sound. See, this is why I need the community. Like, I'm learning from your input. I need that. I need that stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like, I have my backdoor communication servers already set up. I just haven't told anybody yet. So we can get off these, you know, at least have an option to be off these central servers. That's what I'm into, the, the depth of the black hole heart. Uh, I know you haven't really been, you haven't followed my Instagram story at all. Um, but I'll have all the videos laid out pretty soon. Uh, and it'll be over six hours at least of what I've released since October. And indeed, a lifetime of meditation and, and the phrase of unstruck sound. And the black hole heart. there. Thank you. And I'll, I'll reach out to you with all my links and stuff too. And that'll give you the opportunity to spread the links around. Because this ain't no joke. I mean, if anybody was watching that inauguration, the only thing I could think of was friggin' Hunger Games. <laughs> it literally looked like Hunger Games. Like we were living in the friggin' Hunger Games. Like, that's why they... Yeah, do the Sovereign Integrat. Uh, if you're having trouble sleeping, going to sleep, try the Sovereign uh, Breath Sequence. Do you know the Sovereign Breath Sequence? I'll send you a link to the, to the Sovereign Breath. It's a simple breathing exercise. Every anytime I want to go to sleep, I do it. Within five minutes, I'm sleeping, no matter how wound up I am. Yeah, I know, Lady Gaga up there. I mean, come on. Do they think we're retarded? Like, and then they got Tom Hanks. Let's just like popping in at the fucking Lincoln Memorial. No, no, Tom, you're not a king. Sorry, you're not a king. You could try to be, but you're not. Breath is everything. All right, I'll send you that. I'll send you the link to the uh, the Sovereign Breath. It's like the easiest thing ever. You don't. Need, there's no technique. It's just a sequence. I'll send it to you right now. I'll, I'm gonna end this video. And I'll send it to you.